Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to the video. We are just doing the last bit of packing for our little trip this weekend. We're heading down to Goolwa Beach. Goolwa Beach is about one hour south of Adelaide. A beautiful place, beautiful big long beach that you can drive down. And also the Murray Mouth is actually down at Goolwa Beach as well. With all the flow that the Murray is getting at the moment, I think it'll be quite interesting to see what kind of state the mouth is in. Um, I think there'd be a lot of dirty water coming out and it'd be a, an entirely different shape to what we're used to because um, we go down there a little bit and quite enjoy our time down there as well. So we're pretty keen to get you down there with us and uh, show you around. And uh, we're going to be heading off very shortly. We're just waiting on Bianca to get back with a few more little bits and pieces. The van's packed and uh, we're pretty much ready to go. I thought I'd just mention that Gora is about 67 k's from Adelaide. Um, usually takes about an hour from uh, the end of the expressway, so it's not too far. The actual beach itself, you can drive along. Uh, it's free to drive along. It doesn't cost anything. It's about an 11 k stretch of beach, so it's a huge amount of beach that you can drive up and down. Um, there's road rules on there as well. It's a really great place to find cockles. We've done some cockling down there as well. There is limits on what you can take from the beach, but the limits are pretty massive. So you can go down there, catch some cockles and go fishing as well. So it's a really, really cool place. Right down the end near the mouth, there's some sand dunes. Um, you're not allowed to drive on the sand dunes, unfortunately, but you can walk through there and walk around to the mouth and have a look at the mouth. There's always a ton of wildlife. It's a really, really good place to go and spend the day. We're really pumped to show you down there. We'll be staying this time at the Gorwa Caravan Park, which is a discovery park, I believe, from memory. Um, we'll be arriving there probably about 5 6 o'clock this afternoon and as I said before we've got some patrol guys down there that we're going to meet as well and uh, we'll be going for a nice big beach cruise on Saturday with the weather's beautiful here in Adelaide at the moment we're really lucky we've had some nice weather come through just in time for our trip not a big trip but uh, it's been a little while since we've been away we've been flat out with work and flat out with a few other things behind the scenes so we've not had a whole lot of time to put into our traveling side of things so uh, we're pretty excited to get back in the caravan, giving it a once over, we've fully packed it, it's hooked up to the car, we're ready to go. Morning guys, it is Saturday and we are all lined up ready to go. We've got all the patrols over here. I don't know if you can see them off in the distance, but we're about to make our way down to the beach. Um, we're going to meet up with everyone at the bakery in Gore and then go down the beach from there. So I'll show you once we get there. Hopefully we'll be able to throw the drone up as well, which should be good.
We've made it down onto the beach. This is an 11 kilometer stretch along the beach. It's not too bad. It's a little bit soft towards the end here. The on-ramp was pretty straightforward. So we're just getting down towards the end where the mouth is at the moment and it's gotten a lot softer. We've got our tire pressures up still. I think we'll be all right. Without letting them down, we should be uh, we should be okay. I'll chuck the drone up in the air once we get down to the mouth and have a look around. I think it's pretty spectacular down there. Wow, it's definitely changed since last time we were here. It's pretty crazy, really. There's obviously a lot of water coming out of the Murray at the moment. You can see dead carp along the beach here as well. There was dead carp, I reckon, almost a kilometre back. All the fish coming out of the Murray um, are not surviving in that salt water, as you would expect. I think we're going to park up all the cars here, have a bit of a walk around, have a look at the water, and we'll go from there. Hopefully you've just seen the drone footage. That was actually Ollie on the drone. It was his first proper time giving it a full battery worth of drone footage, which is really cool. Um, I think he actually did that really good. We've just pulled up on the beach at the moment and we're going to do some cockling. So we're going to sift around in the sand for some cockles, uh, which if you don't know what a cockle is, I'll put up a picture or I'll show you in a sec. Um, it's basically a just a, a bait that you use for fishing. Really, really good. Usually I think the bags are five or ten bucks from the servo. But there are ways to get them here. Um, I'll show you some of the ways that we can get them. We've done this before where we've taken a couple of buckets home. There is limits. Uh, I'll see if I can find some information about the limits on how much you can take from here. And uh, and if there's a season, I think pretty much all the way through the year, bar, bar a small section, um, you're able to come down and grab the cockles. So we'll go down to the beach, have a look. Beautiful weather at the moment. There's a lot of flies around and mosquitoes, unfortunately. But uh, apart from that, it's absolutely beautiful. Starting to get really hot down here. So we had a little bit of success with the cockles, which was cool. And uh, we're gonna have a bit of a communal lunch now. So we're just getting everything ready and we're gonna head over and uh, everyone's gonna have lunch in a big group, which is a really good idea. We've got some cob loaf and some other bits and pieces. <laughs> 